So now we're going to talk about basic layout types. What is a layout? The layout of an operation is defined by where you position your transforming resource in relation to your transformed resource. So transforming resource are those things which carry out an action, a transformation, and that's your people, your materials, your information. The transformed resource is that which you're working upon, the thing that you're trying to alter or the resources that are altered in your process. How do you choose your layout type? Well, you need to consider the objectives, what you're trying to achieve and the variables you're faced with, safety, the distance things and people need to travel, the visibility and clarity that you have over your operation, the environment that your staff will have to work in, the access you might need to certain resources and the space you have. There are four basic choices you have for layout, fixed position, functional, cell and product. Let's go through each. Fixed position. The transforming resources move, the people, the cranes, the material, and the transformed resource is stationary. So in our pictures here we can see the, the boat we're building, the patient we're operating on. It's usually for project or jobbing processes and for professional services. So examples, motorway construction, going to the dentist, fine dining. Functional layout. Functional layout puts similar transforming resources in the same location. The transformed resource now moves, so that's appropriate for jobbing and batch processes, manufacture, professionals and service shops in the service space. So examples there, we can see a library, you put similar books together. At the bottom picture we can see a machine shop, so you'll have specific tasks located around one area, such as drilling might be in one location, polishing in another. Cell layout. Cell layout locates together transforming resources to create a process. The transformed resource now moves to the appropriate cell to meet a need to be transformed in a particular way. So this is appropriate for batch process, some match process, service shops and some mass service. So if you imagine your kitchen, when you've got all the things you need to make a small transformation, transforming uh, ingredients into cooked food, you might have your cooker, your chopping board, uh, your sink for washing up afterwards, you put a little cell there and you can create a speci specific transformation. The, the examples in our picture, well in the hospital you'll have a, a baby unit maybe, uh, uh, and in a shop, in a department store you'll have maybe trousers in one location, shirts in another. Product layout locates each transforming resource such that the transform resource flows between them. So you lay everything out, it's often called line layout or flow layout because the transformed resource flows through the process. It's appropriate for continuous and mass processes and mass services, so that's your automotive assembly and, and maybe your self-service canteens.